Hopefully you just completed our last lesson on Airtable Automation's basics. In this video, we're gonna get into some of the more advanced pieces of Airtable Automations, specifically conditional logic and repeating groups. Conditional logic is a pretty key feature for Airtable Automations, and I'll explain it to you in a quick example. So let's take a look at our WhaleSync CRM. Here we have a bunch of contacts and some statuses. And so imagine you're a salesperson, you are using the CRM and you're updating the status field. You meet with John Carlson here and you put him as someone that you think is actually qualified to buy. We can have an Airtable automation, take this status update and update the deal amount. But the key thing is that you might not want to always have the same, let's say $10,000 amount be added for every customer. If a contact is not qualified, you might want Airtable automation to automatically bring this to zero. It can basically take a look at certain criteria like the status field here and turn that into a specific action. So to understand this a bit better, let's go ahead and build it in Airtable Automations ourselves. As always, let's click on over to the Automations tab and let's go ahead and create a new automation. Maybe we'll call this Conditional Logic Example. So just like any other automation, we're gonna start by adding a trigger. And in this case, we're going to look for records that have been updated. And specifically, take a look at that contacts table and we can look across our whole view here into fields that have a status update, right? So again, just to pull it back to the data here, we're going into this context table, we're looking at the status field, and when the status field gets updated, that's when we're gonna run, want to run our automation. So let's come back over to automations and continue forward here. Now, in this traditional trigger action flow, we've set up our trigger, let's add an action, and you'll notice these advanced logic pieces at the top. So as you might have guessed, we'll pick conditional logic. And it's actually really intuitive. Basically, Airtable says run actions in this group if, and let's go ahead and pick our status field and set it equal to qualified to buy. So all this is saying is if the status field equals qualified to buy, then run a certain action. So let's go ahead and update our record. We're gonna to wanna to look into the same exact table and add a record ID from this previous step. And let's go ahead and update the deal amount to 10,000, right? That is that first step saying, okay, they're qualified to buy, let's do this. Now, the fun part of conditional logic is let's add another step. So here, instead of qualified to buy, imagine that in the status field, our contact is not qualified. Here, we're gonna to want to also update a record update that same record that we were using before. And this time when we grab the deal amount, let's set it to zero. And go ahead and generate a preview there. All right, this all looks good. Let's go ahead and turn this automation on and give it a try. So if we come back to our data and we take a look at one of these customers, let's take uh, Curtis Fonger here who is in contract sent. Let's go ahead and move him to not qualified. And in a second here, the Airtable automation will run and this $10,000 amount will turn to zero. And again, what the Airtable automation is doing, it's just looking for an update on status. It's seeing that it's not qualified and updating our deal amount based on our conditional logic. Let's do that in the reverse. Let's switch Curtis now to qualified to buy. The same thing will happen here, but in reverse. Airtable will notice the update, it will see that it's qualified to buy, run it through our conditional logic and update it to $10,000. If you're an automation nerd like me, you're probably smiling. It is pretty cool to see Airtable automations in action. Okay, now let's talk about the second advanced automation, repeating groups. So here, let's take a look at our companies to illustrate this. So a repeating group automation is an automation that is taking place on multiple different pieces of a record, right? Everything we've done before has been one field and one action, right? Again, in contacts, we updated one record, Patrick Carlson here, in the status field and updated one spot in the deal amount, right? With repeating groups, what we can do is take examples like this where there are lists and do an automation on the whole list. So imagine this is a company Stripe that's in our CRM. We want to send an email to everyone that works at Stripe. In this example, we've got Patrick and John Carlson as contacts. We can set up a repeating group automation that will find these contacts when they enter a view 
and automatically send an email to Patrick at Stripe and John at Stripe and again, any other contact we have to this list. So to do that, let's come on over to automations. Let's create a new one. We'll call this repeating roof example. And as you might have guessed, we'll add a trigger. And this time let's work off of the when a record enters a view trigger. And this time we'll grab companies and I've set up a view called send email. And so again, what this is doing is we're telling Airtable as soon as a record enters the send email view, then let's take an action on it. Next, we'll add our action. And at the top here, you'll notice this other advanced logic repeating group. And so the first thing we'll need to do is select an input list, right? Repeating groups only work if you give Airtable a group for it to repeat on. And so to notice most of these fields are not clickable and that is good. Let's work on that contact emails field I showed before. So when we take a look at this input list, it will show us again, these two emails, things look good. Let's continue. So now really the only thing is to add an action and here, let's just make it simple. We'll send an email and that is it. And essentially all that's happening here to bring it back to the data. If we take a look at our grid view, we have a bunch of different companies here. Let's grab this other one, WhaleSync, and click send an email. That will move WhaleSync into our send email view. And now, because of our repeating group automation, we will send an email to every person on this contact list. We've got Curtis and then me. So that's Airtable Advanced Logic in a nutshell. Conditional Logic and repeating groups are the two things we've just added to the toolkit. With these two tools, you should be able to do a lot more with your automations. And what's really nice about them, as you've seen in this video, is they're pretty intuitive. Airtable has done a really awesome job of making these advanced features accessible to pretty much anyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.